Hi, my name is Dennis Trotter with the Webster Police Department Code Enforcement. Hey, as promised, we got another episode of Code Enforcement. This month, we're going to be covering open storage. Well, what is open storage? The best way to define open storage is to give you some examples. Um, appliances, furniture, uh, junk motor vehicle, junk motor vehicle parts, lawn mowers, uh, lawn mowers parts, uh, tin cans, inoperable boats. Uh, and the list can go on and on. It's uh, I mean, the list is very long when it comes down to open storage. Now, just remember, it is a city violation ordinance if you store these items out in the front yard. Now, you can't shelter these items or you can't cover them up because that will not uh, satisfy the violation. So if you got these things out in your front yard, guess what? You need to properly dispose of them. Uh, get them out of the front yard, put them in the garage, put them in the backyard or something like that. Now you, you may go out and say, well, hey, guess what? I can do whatever I want to uh, with my property. And you know what? We agree. You can. So long as it do not violate the city ordinance. Just remember, the objective of code enforcement is to get volunteer compliance through community education. Also, in giving the homeowners or the property owners, whoever it may be, an opportunity to come into compliance with the city ordinance. Now, it's citations and notices through the mail is something that we all can avoid. Just be responsible uh, citizen to take care of your property. Now, here, once again, is that just remember that Yes, we know that you own this property, and guess what? We like that, and we know that most citizens will take care of their properties. And one of the things are some red flags that you can look at when you step out in front in your front yard. See what you got in your front yard. Is there a motor vehicle parts or junk motor vehicle park parks? And if it is, guess what? Look to the right, look to the left, and look across the street at your neighbor. If they don't have these things in their yard, that should be a red flag for you not to have them in your yard. Thank you for watching this uh, example of code enforcement. Hey, we'll be back next month uh, with another full uh, code enforcement connection. Next month, we're gonna be featuring stagnant or standing water. I wanna talk to you about how to report a violation. Just go on the city website and under the police portion of that website, you're gonna find code enforcement. Just click on that code enforcement. Once you click on that code enforcement, you're gonna see uh, code enforcement well, to report a violation. It's gonna walk you through, it's a simple process. The other way that you can report a violation, just simply call us. When you call us, we're gonna reach out back out to you one way or the other, and we're gonna reach out back, back out to you probably that same day.